Morning. Sean number 33. Sean number 33? Yeah, I have a lot of Sean, so that's how I keep track. Why don't you just use my last name? Hey, who's the doctor here? Should you be eating? Probably not. Great. Okay. Yeah. All better? Not really. Okay. Hmm. So, you definitely have it. Have what? Cancer. Gallstones. Actually, no, that's Sean number 29. Sorry. Sleep apnea. Okay. Well, don't worry. That's really common among the morbidly obese. I'm morbidly obese? Yeah. I mean, you know, not to be morbid about it. It's a doctor's joke. You know what? I'm gonna get you a CPAP machine to help you breathe normal at night, okay? My insurance does... How much is it out of pocket? Out of pocket? Like $5,000. <laughs> okay, all right. Geez, stop haggling. Oh my gosh, uncle. Wow, okay. What are you, Persian? You know what? Don't worry about it. I have cheaper versions for guys like you. Guys like me? Baddies with bad insurance. You just fat shamed me. I prefer to think of it as thin empowerment. It's a Chinese knockoff. The directions are awful. It's like this thing is so Chinese, I might as well leak soy sauce and rice, but it works. Okay. Most of it's, most of it's in here. You know, we should probably keep this between us. Who else am I gonna tell? I don't know, but I could definitely lose my license. Yours for 600 bucks? How's 200? 600? Your license. Oh. Are you sure you're not Persian? Positive. Good, because those people seem so agitated all the time. They're always offering to buy my car or they hit on my wife, like right in front of me. Real quick, um, are you a deep sleeper? Yeah. How deep? Your landlord. Ugh. It's 6 a.m. Brandon, what the fuck? I heard this buzzing coming from your unit. Fuck, dude. Are you dying? I'm not dying. Are you sure? Because that's like exactly what a dying person would say right now. Oh, dope poster, by the way. My uncle has one. He's also 40. Also, you look terrible. Brandon. You don't have to protect me, bro. It's not a respirator, it's a sleep apnea machine. It's to help heavy people sleep. Oh, fuck. Another reason I'm scared of being fat. I'd kill myself before I got fat, dude. Shut up. But seriously, you can tell me if you're gonna die. My grandma died once. You can only die once. It was messy. She made like, like poop everywhere. It was so gross <laughs> and, and sad. It usually is. She died. Right here. Oh, holy shit, your grandmother died right there? Well, lived, actually, until she d died. You should have told me that before I rented the place. That's really fucked up, Brandon. Fucked up is lying to your landlord about not dying. We can work on this together. Like, let me get a little baby monitor, put it next to your bed, watch you while you sleep. Help I'm not out. a baby. You're kind of like a baby. Chubby prone to dying suddenly. Uh, by the way, if you die, I totally gotta tell your next tenant. Oh, so you're gonna tell the next guy if I die, but you wouldn't tell me that your grandmother died here. Also, I gotta raise the rent on you. You have life insurance, right? For what? So if you die, I can still get paid? Get the fuck out. Look, we gotta talk about this, you know? Devise a plan, dude. The plan is you're leaving, get out. Okay. Hey, animals aren't allowed on the lease. I'm dying, right? Why wouldn't you allow a dying man some company? Poetic as fuck, dude. Let me know if you have parties, dude. I'm so, I'm really alone. See ya. Fuck. Come here. 
You know I'm not dying, right? I mean, we're all dying, but not right away. Okay. Now, these should help you with your sleep. They're um, kind of awesome, so don't take too many. Now, I think it might be colonoscopy time. Save it for Sean number 29. Sean, it's not a request. It's actually a procedure that we have. Oh, man. Sean 29's gonna hate that.